Hello everybody, welcome to Color It Live, where we talk about all things Color It and where we showcase how you free your creativity each and every day. Again, my name is Nyla and my host just arrived, a little late, my son Jeremiah, and we are glad you all are here tonight with us. It's going to be a fun night. I did was able to check in on the chat and I saw that we have Liz with us and Deanna, Barbara, Sue, Vivian, Clifford, Janine, Don, Patty, Cindy. I'm glad you're feeling better, Cindy. Glad you could watch us tonight. Uh, I got Soft Pam was there today. Audrey. Lots of lots of people that we always recognize and I'm so grateful that you guys tune in each and every week. So First, let's announce what we're giving away for to, giving away tonight. And I don't have the book, so I just printed the cover. We're giving the best of color it away. And all you have to do to win this book, not this piece of paper, the book. Um, all you have to do to win the book is share. So you want to share to your groups, share to your family, your friends. You can even um, send specific shares to people on Messenger. Um, this book, what I really like about it, I, you know, I don't have it, but what I think is really cool is, um, if you're on the fence about wanting to buy which color it book you want, this is a good book to have because it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's got colors of the ocean around the world in 50 pages. It's got mythical and fantasy, which is one of my favorite. It's got wildcats. Um, it's got mandalas wild animals so a little bit of everything so if you're new to color it and you're trying to decide what book this would be the perfect book to, to start your collection with so um all you got to do to win is share make sure your facebook profile is set to public not private so that color it will know when you share because every time you share they get sent a message saying that so and so shared so um that's but it has to be set to public for them to get those announcements. So anyway, now that we've found out what we're gonna win, the best of color it, we're gonna be coloring from uh, Colors of Nature later, and I'm gonna be using um, the water color brush pens because I don't use them as often, and I thought that the picture that we're doing tonight would be perfect for the water brush colors because um, it's a pretty big, picture of flowers so I I'm excited about showing you guys some of the things that I I do when I use the water brush pens so let's get on to the submissions tonight let's see how you freed your creativity all right these are the freebie Friday submissions from last week And let's see who we got here. All right, first we got Audrey Bunnell. And as we know, this was the Freebie Friday and it was from Qu Colorful Quilts. And I love how Audrey, how you did this. It's a very rustic looking photo. I like how you did the red, white, and blue. And all the around it are reds and golds that are softer. It kind of looks like a, you know, the a real soft material that the quilt is made out of. I love your shading of the different wood pieces, making the, it look really rustic. I really like that. And your apples are shaded perfectly with a little bit of shine. So everything is, is beautifully done here, Audrey. Thank you for putting your submission in. Next, we have Brenda Green. And I like, Brenda, how you added yellow and black to your quilt it really makes the flag stand out even more, I think. And I like your purple bowl there on, on the table and your brightly colored apples. I like how you did more than just red. You did red and green and yellow. So awesome job there, Brenda. Thank you for sending that in. Next, we have Clifford Mitchell, and I saw that he was tuning in tonight, so thank you. Um, did an excellent job here as well Clifford I like how you mix things up a little bit by 
adding a variety of colors to your quilt. It's not just red, white, and blue. You got pink and orange. You got your different colors of blue and those bright yellow, or uh, yeah, bright yellow stars. I really like that. And I think I see sparkle. I could be wrong. It could just be a gel pen, but I think I see sparkle and I really like that. And then I like how you um, colored your apples green. Makes me think of maybe they might be Granny Smith apples. So very awesome job there, Clifford. Okay, next one. We have Linda Daniels. And Linda used her creativity and freed it on her flag. She colored it differently than most. And I like that. I like the yellow stars against the red. And then I like how all your stripes are blue. It looks really pretty that way. Those colors go so well with the brown and tans around the quilt. Um, makes the flag stand out really well and makes the, the flag the centerpiece of the picture. So awesome job there, Linda. Make sure everybody is giving hearts and thumbs up to our submissions. We love it when people send in their submissions. It gives us uh, inspiration for our own pictures. Next we have Kinsey Yeager, and I like how you kept the original colors of the flag, but you mixed up uh, the rest of the quilt. You got your orange and blues, you got your greens and purples, and it looks really good, really colorful. You got your red apples there. All in all, really good job there, Kinsey. Thank you for sending that in. Okay, we're moving right along. We're going to be going to um, random submissions. Let me make sure I keep track of my phone. So if we have a winner, I will know as soon as I possibly can. All right, so random submissions. If you have a picture and you want it shown on, um, whether you want it on Color It Live, or if you want it, they sometimes will do... Um, pictures, you know, just put a big collection together and post it on Facebook. Um, all you got to do is send an email to support at colorit.com or you can post it right on Colorit's Facebook page. So let's see what random submissions everybody put in today. Okay, first we have Ari Rolling, and this is from Wild Doodles. I like how you used a variety of colors here. I think you pretty much used almost all the colors. I see blue, I see yellow, red, green, so definitely the main colors. I like the parts where you use the different shades of red. It's kind of like a red and a, red, a pink maybe. I like that and I like the um, purple and yellow circles there. My eye goes automatically to that. So did an excellent job here, Ari. And definitely looks like a, um, a jungle. So definitely fits the wild, wild doodles theme. Getting tongue-tied again. So awesome job, Ari. Next we have Barbara, Barbara Barnes. And this is from Blissful Scenes. And did a beautiful job here. I like those big red flowers. They're so bold. It's one of the first things that I saw. I like how you colored the greenhouse. Well, that's what I'm calling it, a greenhouse. Um, I like that that blue that you use, kind of like a robin egg blue. It's really pretty. And all the flowers that you colored around it, you got your grapes on the top there, and then all the variety of flowers there at the bottom done really well. Um, I even like how your kittens, the one gray kitten, has the blue which matches the greenhouse and then I noticed that the the tan kitten has a red bow tie that matches the flowers so I don't know if you meant to do that if you did that's cool if not you know that's what I see when I saw the picture and I really enjoyed it so definitely a blissful scene thank you Barbara for sending that in next we have Charlene Armstrong and this is from colorful dragons I love your purple and pink dragon here. Looks very cool in that, that flowing water that's so blue. And I love that delicate rose there on the right. 
And then I like how you um, colored the, what looks like um, trees or shrubs on the mountains. That's a really neat detail that I'm glad that you made sure to pay attention to and it kind of draws my eye. But your dragon is definitely very regal, very, uh, very, just beautiful. That purple and pink, and I like how you did the scales. It gave, gives them more of a textured look. It doesn't look just like a flat, but it looks like what it's supposed to look like. So awesome job there, Charlene. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, next we have Sherry Verabelle. And this is from Colors of Inspiration. And the message here is be free. And that's definitely what Sherry has done here. She has a beautiful dragonfly with its green body. It's got di little different types of green throughout the body. And I love that. I like the purple and teal wings. Um, I think I even see some pink in there. Really pretty. Just the, the way you colored it, the pattern that you chose makes that dragonfly stand out from the rest of the page and then I like how you colored the rest of the 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 coloring you made it look like he's the the dragonfly is on a plant like those are leaves all around him so beautiful job definitely a free dragonfly and we are definitely inspired by your picture thank you very much for sending that in all right, next we have Denise DeMott, and this is from Around the World in 50 Pages. And if someone could please let me know where this is from, I'm going to take a stab. I think this is Venice, but I'm not for sure. I can't remember where the, the city, the floating city with the, all the gondolas. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, Denise, you did an excellent job here. I love how you did the background, all of that architecture and the black and tans and reds very good and then I, your gondolas are beautiful with that red and white stripe pole and then the yellow and blue seats and the the yellow and blue woodwork of the gondolas very beautiful picture definitely takes us around the world looks like something that a person would have in their pictures after they came home from traveling so thank you denise for sending that in really enjoyed it next we have Diana Dykes and this is from mythical and fantasy we have a beautiful butterfly fairy here and she's in a lovely blue dress with her purple and pink wings looks very happy and she all these butterflies are surrounding her um, when I see this picture I imagine her talking to them you know like she's one of their her friends and Diana, I like how you colored each of the butterflies differently. Um, all the little details, lots of different colors. I like the pink and the blue. I like the green and yellow one. Um, and then there's like a red and blue one. Just, just lots of colors in there and looks really pretty. And those yellow flowers there at the bottom just kind of ties everything in. So excellent job, Diana. Very magical, very mythical picture here. Thank you for sending that in. We enjoyed it. Next we have Francis Kish Marcus and this is from Blissful Scenes. And we have a beautiful flower stand here. I like how you did the canopy blue and pink and I like how the wood, I don't know what those things are called, but the wood screens, the flowers that are behind the flowers, I like that you colored that green it kind of makes the the canopy pop even more and you colored all different kinds of flowers all different kinds of colors such a beautiful picture my favorite flower that you colored here i think would be what looks like um pansies to me there's a basket of pansies there off to the the left i think that's my favorite but all of it is excellent very gorgeous lots of colors Definitely a blissful scene, Francis. So thank you for sharing that with us. Next, we have Kelly Molina, and this is from Mandala's Volume 2. And we have a very intricate mandala here. It kind of has an ocean feel to it. I like how your main colors of yellow and red and blue, um, those are real 
real kind of a dark colors they stand out and then you got some greens and some oranges mixed in there too it kind of when I was looking at this made me think of what you would see kind of in a coral reef all the different colors and beauty under an ocean around a coral reef so excellent job there Kelly and thank you for sending in your very intricate very well colored mandala Next we have Laura Ferguson, and this is also from Mandala's Volume 2. Another very detailed mandala. So much going on in this picture here. All kinds of colors. I especially like how the soft greens and the pinks, how they go against that bolder yellow and red. Um, just excellent job there. I like the... the, the uh, the soft greens that they kind of look like flowers throughout and then I like how you added in that tannish color around everything just did an excellent job there the way the pattern you chose very good so thank you for sending us your mandala Laura all right we have uh, Marella could oh, I knew I was gonna mess this up Marella could uh, Kajija? K no, I, that's not it. Kahija. Kahija, maybe? I, I'm so sorry, Mar Mariella. I butchered your name. But your picture is beautiful. This is from Colorful Unicorns. I love how the hair of the fairy and the, the mane of the unicorn match. I love those blues that you used. I love the um, fairy's wings. They're pink and red and orange and they go really well with her orange gown that she has it's very flowing lots of color lots of detail in this picture um very pretty it looks like you use some gel pens maybe even some glitter in there because it has a shine to it so excellent job and i love your picture there mary mariella i hope i got your name right but beautiful picture thank you for sending that in All right, we have our first winner. So we're gonna put Marilyn here to the side and gonna come back to us. We'll come back to Marilyn's picture. So again, we are giving away the best of coloring book, best of color at coloring book. So a little bit of everything. And the first winner for tonight is Renee Corwin Young. Renee Corwin Young, you are our first winner tonight for the Best of Color It book. You're going to love it. It's got a little bit of everything in it. All you have to do is send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you won on Color It Live. Give them your phone number and your address so they can um, be sure to send you the correct things. So congratulations again there, Renee Corwin Young. Um, can't wait to see the pictures that you uh, get done. So hopefully we'll see them on Color It Live later. All right, so let's go back to our submissions. And we were going to look at Marilyn's picture here. And this is from Colorful Expressions. And I thought really hard about this picture. And I honestly do not know what the expression is for this picture. So I need my Color It family to um, put in the comments what this uh, expression is for this picture. But either way, Marilyn, you did an excellent job here. I really enjoyed this picture. Um, love the blue of the flowers on her hand there. Really like that. It goes so well with her pink nails and the pink trim around the uh, picture. It's really pretty. And I like how you colored the two horses different. You have the darker brown one that has like a soft brown mane and then you have the gray horse with the kind of the red mane so I really like how the whole scene played out do we know what the expression is Jeremiah um Nicole said hold your horses hold your horses that makes sense now <laughs> I, I sat and I thought and I pondered it for the longest time and I could not think what are two hand you know two horses in the hand I, I couldn't I couldn't think, but either way, it's an excellent picture. Love your gold trophy there. 
love your horseshoes and and the uh, four leaf clovers all around the outside so beautiful job there Marilyn thank you for sending that in next we have Mary Thomas and this is a new thing this is as far as I know I've never seen this done or sent in before if you have I'm, I apologize but Mary Thomas here what she's done is she has made greeting cards with um, from butterflies from the book colors of nature so you can see there to the right she made the card itself with the three butterflies and then on the envelope she has the big bold butterfly so that is such a neat idea um, if you guys do anything like what Mary has done here if you get crafty and um, use your pictures to decorate certain things we would love to see pictures of it Mary has definitely freed her creativity with this and the results are exceptional those are beautiful cards there it's a great idea and thank you for sharing it with us Mary I think that will inspire a lot of people to think of different ways of using their pictures it's a great job okay next we have Sharon Matney and this is from colorful seasons we have a groovy VW van here it's loaded up for a day at the beach I like the orange color of your van it's kind of like a melon like a cantaloupe orange and I like the of course purple on the sides and the top with the blue flowers matches uh, the uh, surfboard and uh, the mat there that you have packed in your in your the top of your van so very colorful very groovy um, picture here Sharon thank you for sending that in love all the details that you did the purple shells everything just really good job there next we have Tiffany Baker and this was the free 2019 calendar download for June and it looks like Tiffany is going to have a very sunny June, very fun June. I first thing I noticed was that pink flamingo floaty there at the bottom. And then I like your um, blue and orange flip flops. And then I like how you matched your chair and your umbrella with all the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful. You even got a uh, umbrella in the coconut drink there on top. You got a popsicle there looks like maybe even a margarita so definitely going to be a fun June when um, Tiffany looks at the days of June she's definitely going to enjoy it so thank you for sending that in I really enjoyed seeing it so excellent job next we have Winston Green and this is from Colorful Dragons two very majestic looking dragons here I like how you did the green it's like an emerald green and the ruby red I see sparkle and shine and I love that love how the two dragons combine to make one there around that sword and I love your bold red roses with those green leaves goes really nicely with your dragons and then I like the details that you put in the sword um, it's got the, the emerald and the ruby look to it. Very pretty, very, very uh, just cool looking picture. So definitely enjoyed that Winston. Thank you for sending that in. So that will be it for our submissions tonight. Let me see here. Transition back to me for just a moment. It is time for our guest caller and I think you guys are gonna recognize her name I see her all the time posting beautiful pictures on Facebook so we're gonna have a little chat with her and learn a little bit more about her Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. 
Hi, this is Color It. Who are we talking to? Audrey. All right, it's Audrey Bunnell, everybody. I'm sure you guys have seen her pictures on uh, the Color It group and on the different pages on Facebook. It's glad, um, we're really glad to have you as our guest tonight. So, where are you tuning in from, Audrey? Uh, from Ohio. Ohio, all right. And do you happen to remember how or when you found Color It and its their products? It was in early 2017, and it was a friend. I live in a community uh, of 50 apartments, and it was a friend here who told me about Color It. And I've been a fan ever since. Well, that's good. I'm glad that your friend showed you because I really enjoy your pictures. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. What is your favorite medium to use? I really like markers because I'm going to be 73 this year and it's easier for my hands. Definitely. Yeah, I can understand yeah. that. Definitely. I'm a massage therapist and when I get home after massaging all day, sometimes the last thing I want to do is grip a pencil. So I completely yeah. can understand that. Um, do you have a favorite color it book? Uh, yes, I think Blissful Scenes is my all-time favorite. All right, I'm going to put your picture up here real quick. This is Audrey's uh, picture that she sent in. It's from Blissful Scenes. And uh, why are you most proud of this picture? I believe that this picture, although it was colored in 2017, I was just getting back into coloring, and I think I did my shading on the grapes really, really well. You did. Yeah, you definitely can't tell that you were rusty. It looks like you were a seasoned colorist from what I can see. I mean, <laughs> all of it. I started, I started out with a child's coloring book and crayons, and I didn't get what I wanted. So I, when I found color it, then I was able to shade, mm -hmm. and I just enjoy doing pictures that I can shade with. Right. Yeah, it looks very realistic. I mean, even the cheese. I mean, the cheese is shaded perfectly. I like your wine bottle with the, the wood around it. it all, it's just very excellent, all the different shades of grapes. It's, it's a beautiful picture. I can see why you're proud of it. All right, we, Thank you. you're welcome. We have one last question for you. Um, besides coloring, do you have any other hobbies? I used to do a lot of crafts. I made um, book pastries and um, paper towel. I love to do paper towel, but I don't do those as much as color now. So it's coloring reading and I do farm town on Facebook. Awesome. Well, I am very glad that you found Color It. I love seeing your pictures. Like I've said before, the picture you sent in is excellent. And I'm glad that we got to know you a little bit better. And we'll be seeing more pictures from you hopefully soon. Yes, I have two in the process. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that sounds like me. Thank you for calling. Thank you for being our guest. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Have a good evening. You too. Thanks, Nyla. Thank you. All right. So that was Audrey Bonnell. I'm sure you guys have seen her um, pictures on Facebook. She does an excellent job. Love to find out the little little bits and pieces of our color family. Um, love learning about you guys. If you guys are ever interested in being a guest here on Color It, just send me a message, let me know, and I'll try to get you on. We've got some people lined up. I think you guys are going to like hearing from them. It's always fun to, to talk to others who enjoy the same things as you. And we love Color It, and so do they. And I like finding out how you guys found Color It um, and, and what other things you do besides coloring. But, you know, like most people, coloring is kind of our, is my number one thing. It's what I usually choose to do. And that's what we're going to get ready to do right now. I don't think we have our winner yet. 
so we're going to get ready to color and uh, like I said this um, picture is from uh, colors of nature so if you want it you can type in colorit.com slash flower power and you can download the picture and print it and you can color it tonight with us so you can color it later um, if you want freebie Fridays sent to you on a regular basis all you got to do is go to colorit.com and sign up for their newsletter and when you do that you'll get their newsletter every week and then you'll get the freebie Friday as well and then you can just print it off and you can color it with us or you can color it on your own before or after so let's get to my picture I've already started so let me talk a little bit about what I'm doing here um, I'm using the water brush watercolor brush pen and I'm using right now I'm using the color faithful fuchsia which is C121 and I got me a little thing of water here and I got me a extra little brush this is um, this is actually an eyeliner brush that I use um, but you know you could probably a brush that's actually for painting would probably work out better so I'm gonna get my water open here and get my brush pen open and start coloring and Jeremiah is oh we got a second winner I knew as soon as I started it they were gonna give me the winner so I'm gonna have you hold this up this is the book you're winning you're not winning this piece of paper sorry you're winning the book the best of color it it's got uh, 30 pages in it all from all the different color it books and the second winner and I I'm pretty sure I know this person Rosa Pearson you are our second winner so congratulations Rosa all you have to do is send an email to support at color .com. let them know that you are our second winner on color it live and they will send you the best of color it book make sure you include your address and your phone number so they can make sure they get it to you get the right thing to you so let's get back to coloring shall we all right okay so gonna let Jeremiah start um, reading the questions and I'm just going to basically just start doing what I've been doing so far. Um, I like to start out with the actual, let me open my water real quick. Hopefully I won't spill it on my picture. Uh, can't see me, but I'm using my mouth. Don't do that. It might hurt your teeth. Okay, so I'm going to just show you real quick what I, I do and then we'll get to the questions. I, I take where I want it to be darkest and of course there are other ways to do this my way is definitely not you know the best way or the only way um, this is just how I like to do it so I'll go around and I will do the parts that I want the darkest with the actual brush pen and you don't have to be for perfect because this is watercolors um, watercolor I think is a you know pretty flexible art they're not always real perfect and that's why I chose to do them with this picture and then you can't see but I'm dipping my brush in the water and I'm gonna dab it on my hand because I don't want it real wet and then I'm just gonna go over what I just did with my brush and just kind of spread out that color and then anything that gets you know too light I can always go right back with my my brush pen and make it darker but as you can see it really spreads that color pretty far and um, I you know I this is the, the easiest way that I find there is a tutorial on the YouTube color it's YouTube that she shows different ways of blending these so you might find her ways a little bit easier but this is the way that I do it so I'm gonna shut my mouth and start coloring here and Jeremiah's gonna give us our questions and all of these questions are submitted by color it fans 
So what's what's our first question, Jeremiah? But just before, um, I um saw some comments. Okay. About your shirt. Oh, you guys like my shirt? Oh, I'm not. I'm sitting here looking at the camera. You can't see my shirt. I'm coloring. Yes, I I got this shirt. So I'm a walking billboard for Color It. I even have a Color It sign on my car. So um, you guys think I love Color It? <laughs> so, but thank you for noticing my my shirt. They also said, "Where did you get it?" Oh, I um, it it was custom made. Um, ordered it from I can't remember the company right now. Um, but I'll I'll try to post about it later. Um, you can't see my back, but on my back, you'll, I'll post a picture later. It has a, a bunch of my draw, my, my, my pictures that I finished on the back. So I'll try to take more pictures and let you guys see the details of it. But, um, it's just from a company that they, they print cards, um, business cards and things like that. And I designed it myself. So... Yeah, I just thought that since I did color it live that I needed to show my pride a little bit more and get get a t-shirt done. So, all right, let's get on to our our questions and who who submitted the first ones? Um these three were submitted by Miracle Dunkel Bridger. Okay, so Miracle submitted three questions. Let's hear them. Which Mash actor voiced Cogsworth, the clock, in Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so the actor is formerly known or mainly known for being an actor on the TV show MASH, but he also voiced Cogsworth, the clock, on the animated film of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Does anyone know the name of that actor? And I, sorry, but I don't have choices for this one. So hopefully you know, somebody knows either their Disney or their MASH uh, trivia because I, I didn't think of um, choices for this. So hopefully you guys will not let us down. Does anybody want to take a stab at who played who voiced Cogsworth the clock oh. in Beauty and the Beast? Ellen said David Ogden Steers. Yes, David Ogden Steers. And who did you say, Ellen? Yes. All right, good job, Ellen. She knew who he vo who voiced the Cogsworth the clock. So, fun question. What's Miracle's next? Uh, trivia question. What 1971 Disney film did Angela Lansbury play a cunning witch in training who used her super supernatural powers to defeat the Nazis? Okay, so this is a movie back in 1971, so it's a bit older. And it had Angela Lansbury in it, and she was a witch. And she was a new witch, so she wasn't all that great at being a witch. She was still learning. And uh, she, at the end of the movie, used her powers to defeat the Nazi enemy that was coming towards them. Does anybody know what the name of that movie was? I like this movie because it also had an animated, you know, like, like kind of like Mary Poppins had an animated feature part in part of it where they went to an island full of animals. Okay, who who knew? Chris said doorknobs and broomsticks. Doorknobs and broomsticks? No, bed knobs. Yeah. Yes. One. Bed knobs and broomsticks. So, yeah. good job, Chris. Anybody else get it? Um Karen did. Karen got it. All right. So, very, I, I really like that. It had the father from Parent, uh, not Parent Trap, but from Mary Poppins in it as well, I believe. Or maybe it was the boy. I don't know. I digress. But I, we really, I really liked that movie. But it was, it was a fun, fun movie. So good question there. What is uh, 
her her next question. Which show did Jamie Farr make a cameo as himself? Okay, so Jamie Farr is um, from MASH too. So I, I'm thinking that Miracle is a MASH fan. I'm I'm kind of getting that sense of from her questions that she likes MASH. So what which show did Jamie Farr make a cameo in? He played himself. Uh, I think we do have some choices. That 70s show, Everybody Hates Chris, or Two and a Half Men. Okay, so did Chris Farr appear as himself in Everybody Hates Chris, or was it Two and a Half Men, or was it That 70s Show? Does anybody want to take a stab at that one? Which one do you think it was? Do you think it was Two and a Half Men? Or do you think it was that 70s show? Or was it Everybody Hates Chris? So definitely thinking that Miracle is a MASH fan. So I remember watching, I would go stay with my sister and you know, We'd get home late and that would be what we'd watch at night because of course you know we didn't have cable because she was living on her own and so that was on regular antenna TV and we would watch MASH. So somebody knows the answer. Who is it? Margaret said on That 70s Show. That 70s Show and that is correct. I don't completely remember the episode, but I do remember him making a joke about how he would rather go be with the girls, you know, And but um, I, I can't completely remember the episode, but I do remember him appearing on it. So, good questions, Miracle. Thank you for sending those in. All right, so I'm continuing just to go this flower with um, my brush and my brush pen here. Um, and as you can tell, you know, you put a little bit more water down, it makes it lighter. And then if you want to make it darker, you just put a little bit more of the brush pin down. So, um, and the paper holds up really well. It does, of course, come through a little bit, but we are putting straight water on this picture. So, the, the paper, for just being a coloring book, really holds up well against with, with this water. I was really impressed with that. Okay, so who is the next person to contribute to our program here? Um, we still haven't done her last one. Oh, she has one more. I'm sorry, Miracle. I'm cutting you short. What TV show was a spinoff of Walker, Texas Ranger? Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a show with, with um, Chuck Norris, and he, was, um, he played a Texas Ranger. And there was a spinoff from Walker, Texas Ranger. I don't know that it lasted very long, but um, does anybody know what the name of that was called? What was the spinoff of Walker, Texas Ranger? Does anybody want to take a guess? We're going to come back to me. You guys can think about that question because we have another winner. We have our third winner, and this is what you're gonna be winning tonight. It's the book, The Best of Color It. It's got 30 pages. All kinds of coloring books are featured in here. You got mandalas, colors of the ocean, mythical and fantasy, wild cats, so a little bit of everything. And the third winner for tonight is J Dawn Jenkins. So Don Jenkins, congratulations. You're our third winner for tonight. Make sure you send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you won the best of Color It on Color It Live and be sure to include your address and phone number and they will get that sent out to you as soon as possible. So do we have anybody who took a guess? I see Mary Kate said Sons of Thunder. Yep. Anybody else get it? We missed? Nope. So far, not yet. So, awesome job. Mary Kate knew it was Sons of Thunder. That was the spinoff from Walker, 
Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. We watched that show. We liked it. It was a good show. Chuck Norris was fun. All right, so I'm going to go back to coloring, and Jeremiah's going to go back to asking questions. Speaking of Mary Kate. Speaking of Mary Kate. Mary Kate Moore submitted a joke. Okay, Mary Kate, I know when you told me this joke, you probably didn't know I was going to put this on the show, but I did because I thought it was a really cute idea. So what is Mary Kate's joke? What is a marching band's favorite sandwich? Okay, so if a marching band had a favorite sandwich, what do you guys think it would be? I had no idea. But then when she told me, I was like, oh, duh, of course. So can anyone, does anyone make a, you know, take a stab at what a marching band's favorite sandwich would be? Thinking of all the different instruments that they use. I'm gonna dip my brush and make sure, I mean, with depending on what brush, this holds a lot of water. So I always try to dab it. Um, I sometimes will have a paper towel next to me and I'll dab it on that. I use my hands a lot, which is not smart probably, <laughs> but they're not toxic. So, <laughs> um, but that's how I get some of the water off. So that, cause I don't want to drench my picture with, with too much water. So who, who does anybody know what, um, what is a marching band's favorite sandwich? This is not it, but true, you're really close. What did, what it's did, tuna. Tuna, yes. You're close. It definitely is related to tuna, but we got to make sure we're, they're, you know, a marching band, so they have instruments. So instead of a tuna fish sandwich, it would be a what? So close. I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it. I'll let, I'll let Jer Jeremiah deliver the punchline. So what, Jeremiah, is a marching band's favorite sandwich? A tuba fish. A tuba fish. Da -dum -bum. Awesome joke there from Mary Kate. Thank you. Got sound effects and everything. All right, so who is our next contributor? Um, Jennifer, um, Jennifer Baker submitted these five. Okay, so Jennifer Baker, thank you. She submitted some more questions. Remember, if you guys can think of any kind of trivia questions, any jokes, kind of like what Mary Kate did, um, send them to me. You know, just send me a message, or you can send them to um, Color It, and they'll send them to me, and we'll feature them on the show. We'll try to make this show more viewer friendly. We want you guys involved as much as possible in our show. So, okay, what questions did Jennifer Baker give us tonight? This is, this, um, th not this question, but a, um, two words in the sentence it has been related on another card last year, show. Okay. So, who's saying Danger Zone from Top Gun? Okay, everybody remembers Top Gun, right? Tom Cruise, fighter pilot, and his co-pilot, Goose. There was a song called Danger Zone. Does anybody know uh, who sang that song? It's very popular back when this movie came out. He is, uh, I don't know if he still does a whole lot of music now or not, but... He did a lot of music back in the 80s and 90s. So does anybody know who, who sang Danger Zone? Jeremiah has an answer. Mary, Cat, Mary, Mary Kate said um, um, Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins is correct. Good job, Mary Kate. Cindy got it too. Awesome. Good job, guys. On the ball tonight. It was a really good movie. I think it was one of my... I'm not a big fan of Tom Cruise, but that movie was awesome. Okay, what's our next question from Jennifer? Which Rocky movie is Eye from the Tiger from? Okay, so Eye of the Tiger. 
very popular song. We know that it was in one of Rocky's movie. Which one? There's quite a few Rocky movies out there. So does anyone know where Eye of the Tiger, which one that is, what movie that is from? Does anyone want to take a guess? Not the answer, but um, true and surely, um, um, love your flower. Thank you. I think it's turning out pretty good. And as you guys can see, it's simple. You know, it's not it's not real hard. Um, like I said, I don't do a lot. I have never done watercolors before. Um, I got these pens, so they kind of make me a little nervous. But with this picture and this technique, there it's really really simple. So, who knows uh, the answer to our trivia question? Surely said Rocky 3. Rocky 3. Yes, that is the correct question. Or, correct answer. Good job. Alright, Ellen. Did anybody else get it? Um, none that I've seen. Okay. It's not 1 and 2. That's all I know. Yep. Rocky 3. Okay, what's our next question? I'm going to change colors. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start on this other flower right next to it. So go ahead and start with the other question. And I'm going to pick my next color. What was the name of Forrest Gump's love interest? Okay, so Forrest Gump had a movie, right? And in that movie, he had a love that he loved since he was little. And does anybody know her name? Who was Forrest Gump's one true love? They, he said that they were like peas and carrots. Alright, so I'm going to use Laid Back Lavender, which is C124. We have an answer. Alright, Miracle. I see Miracle got it. Jennifer got it. Trudy got it. What is the answer, Jeremiah? Jenny. Jenny. Yes, that is correct. Jenny was Forrest's love. They were like peas and carrots. Awesome movie. So, love that question, Jennifer. So, all right. What is our next one? So, I'm just starting out. I'm going to do the darkest part of the flower. Again, this is laid back lavender Let me check the time we're getting close to the end so I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys much of the purple flower what's our what's our last question for tonight it's not the last. well last that we're gonna have time for who sang the hit song from Titanic and what was its title okay so we got Titanic and there was this one particular hit song sang by this person does the does anybody name know the name of the song and the person who sang it? I think I would love to see this person live. She is one of one of my favorite singers. I think she is a just her vocals are just beautiful. So does anyone know who sang the hit song from Titanic oh. and what was the name? That was quick. Um, true, even though you got half the question, you got, um, C line, C? Celine Dion. Yes. And, um, Miracle, you got C on. Celine Dion. Celine Dion, my heart goes on, and so did Truly, Cindy, Mary Cat, and Jonathan. Alright, so all of those people got it right. It was Celine Dion, and the song was, My Heart Will Go On. One of the saddest movies ever even though I went to the movie knowing what was gonna happen <laughs> uh, I still cried I remember when that came out me and my friends I think we went and saw that movie like five times my friend um, Logan loved that movie she had posters in her bedroom so excellent question thanks for sending questions in and even the joke I thought was a cute so if you guys have jokes or questions,
please send those to us so that we can uh, see if our colorettes and color studs can, can answer them. All right, so that's all the coloring we have time for tonight. I will do my best to finish this picture and make sure I post it. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to do it all in the watercolor brushes. So hopefully it'll turn out. Um, so far, I, I really like it. I really like how it's going. So, all right. We are waiting for our fourth and final winner for tonight. And while we're doing that, I want to thank um, Audrey uh, Bunnell for um, being our guest caller. I want to thank everybody who submitted the questions and everybody for tuning in. Thank you very much. Remember, there are plenty of ways to win different things from Color It. Um, not only can you win tonight, every Wednesday, there are four winners every Wednesday, so that's one way to win. Then we have the Fan of the Month that you can enter. Um, they are asking for summer themed coloring pages. So go through your color it books, pick out something that says summer to you, not literally the word summer, but you know, pictures that make you think of summer, and send it in to color it. You have to upload it um, to colorit.com slash contest. You, you can't email it anymore. You have to upload it. So colorit.com slash contest. And there will be six winners, and they'll all win a um, gift card to color it and color it will pick three of the winners and then the other three will be drawn randomly so that is an, a sure way to win every month then there is a monthly giveaway and the monthly giveaway happens to be the best of color it book so all you have to do to win it is go to color it.com slash giveaway and um, there are winners constantly, um, so you have more chances of winning this one. And the winners are announced either on uh, Facebook or on Instagram. So that's w another way that you can win from Color It. So let's look. We got three more minutes. We do have our fourth and final winner for tonight. The winner is going to win the book that I don't have. I need to get apparently the best of color it and the fourth winner is Debbie Hickson so congratulations Debbie Hickson you are our fourth winner of the best of color it book so send an email to color it.com or support at color it.com let them know that you are a color it live winner and give them their your uh, address and your phone number and they will get the book sent to you straight away so congratulations to the four winners thanks again to Audrey for being our guest thanks for everyone submitting um, questions and even the joke that I got from Mary Kate I was sneaky I didn't tell her I was gonna use it but I used it because it was cute so if you have a joke or if you have a trivia question please let me know send it to me or you can send it to color it and as always thank you guys for tuning in I love how you free your creativity every day every time I tune in and I look at what we have to show I am surprised and overwhelmed by your creativity you guys always show me something different so I really enjoy everybody tuning in we are thankful for you coming and, and tuning in and chatting with us and I always I always try after the show to answer any questions or reply to comments I can't do it during the show but after I always try to because I really really appreciate you guys tuning in so from here in Missouri we all want to say good night have a very color it and creative week so thanks for tuning in have a great evening.